Ahoy, shipmates. I thought I'd show you something slightly different here. This is potentially the shortest cruise trip in the world. The Ventura here is departing Port Southampton, preparing to turn. We're about to head out. All of a sudden, she doesn't stop turning. She keeps turning. Maybe the captain said, my wife's made me some lovely sandwiches this morning. I've left them on the port side. Better go back and pick them up. So as she turns around, heads back into port. Job done. Shortest cruise in the world. Approximately 40 minutes. Well, it's not really the case. When the ship is in dock, you can only access one side for lifeboat maintenance, so I've been told. Hence the reason they pop out, spin round, so they can access the other side of the ship for maintaining those lifeboats. Right, back to some drone flying. It's a lovely evening here, shipmates, in the port of Southampton. And I've taken the opportunity to have a drone flight of the Jewel of the Seas. First time drone flying the Jewel of the Seas. Had a live stream of the Jewel of the Seas earlier with some commentary. That's something that often takes part on the channel when conditions allow and there's something interesting to film leaving. Right, time for a photo here. Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. I think the water is... Not an attractive colour on this particular shot. That's a bit high, but uh, interesting. Interesting ship. Slightly different to some of the others we see. Some nice round portholes at the front. Uh, got some sweepiness going along on the sides. I don't know if that's an accurate description, but yeah, not quite as block like as some of the ships we see in port. Yeah, first time for me droning the Jewel of the Seas. It's part of the Royal Caribbean fleet. And again, is one of the older cruise ships we've seen, dating back to a, a launch date of March in 2004. It's part of the Radiance class of cruise ship. Gross tonnage is 90,000, and a length of 293 metres. So not, not as big as some of them we see. And that really notices when you look at capacity for passengers. 2,500 passengers and 842 crew. That's quite low on the number of passengers. A lower passenger to crew ratio. Interesting. I think a good shot here. Well, that's an improvement, isn't it? Look at that colour of the sea, much better colour of the sea. Yes, but, but maybe the framing needs to be better, maybe a bit tighter, I think. Oh, that's, that's, that's an improvement, that's a definite improvement. I particularly like the Jewel of the Seas with the helicopter pad at the front here. One day I will get permission to land on the helicopter pad. And my bucket list of things to do with the drone, I can tick off another one. Uh, the Jewel of the Seas uh, used to operate in the Mediterranean, uh, circulating between Italy, Greece, and the Mediterranean Sea until November 2016 where she had a, a refit then she was repositioned to sailing between the San Juan Puerto Rican islands and to the Caribbean and since December 2019 she's been home ported in Dubai and operated cruises in the Persian Gulf I don't know where she's expected to return to Perhaps back to Dubai. So, 13 decks in total and 12 passenger decks. It's picking up a bit of speed here in port. And speaking of speed, it actually has a top speed of 25 knots, which is more unusual for a cruise ship. 
Cruise ship's normally in the sort of 20 knot range. And then cruise liners in the sort of 30 knot region. Oh, but some would say perhaps we'll uh, nip round to the other side and try a photograph. Although I have a sneaking feeling that we're going to lose the lovely bluey greeny colours of the water and end up with something that's looking rather like a healthy pea soup. Yep, we're in healthy pea soup territory again. Reasonable proportions. Nice shadow there, though. Lovely jaunty angle of the bow. Of course, there's no passengers on board the ship at the moment, just crew. I imagine normally when the cruising season resumes, which could be later this year, seems favourable. I could well have a whole selection of shipmates on the balconies here, waving hoping to be on camera. Oh, I see we're starting to get a bit more colour in the water again when we're facing this way. I really should think about this a lot more before I take the photograph, shouldn't I? But uh, it doesn't always, not always the place that you want it to be at the right time. Let's try for a bow one. It's not too bad. Bit of a low tide there, exposing the mud flat side. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's not the most glamorous shot of Southampton. I have managed to take some much better shots of Southampton. Now, mind, it's still nice to see different angles of the Jewel of the Seas. Let's have a look while we look along the top here. Uh, looks like it's our water park. Oh, I particularly like this feature here, just coming in from the right. It looks like it's in a James Bond film there would be a sort of UFO space shuttle that would just take off from, from the top of the ship, and that's where the, the big bad boss lives. Yeah, I like that feature. There's a rock climbing wall in the back of the funnels there, you can just about see. Basketball court. And then you can see those wavy lines I was talking about. On the sort of deck, upper deck area. That's quite nice, really. quite an attractive feature. And there's also a fairly attractive stern here, instead of a, a really brutal sharp edge. It's got a bit of a slope. Not quite in the Queen Mary 2 cruise liner mould, but... Nonetheless, relatively attractive. I'm starting to pick up a few better colours now. Still a bit in the pea soup category, but a slightly brighter shade of pea soup. Maybe we're going from... Yeah, it's still pea soup. Going from budget pea soup to a premium pea soup. Selection of ships in the background. Queen Elizabeth there. Roro, Ventura shop left, and the red and white one is the Red Kestrel, freight only ferry. They have all sorts of things on the uh, Jewel of the Seas. There's a West End Broadway. They bring shows to life. And a Buenos Aires Tango. Another, another show to music, one would imagine. City of Dreams, which is a dazzling theatrical adventure, it visits the myths of the world from far flung continents. Of course, there's a massive variety of restaurants on board as well. One that they particularly like to highlight is the Chops Grill, the American Steakhouse, and an Italian Tuscan style restaurant called Giovanni's and an Asian restaurant for flavours of the East Izumi oh, it's nice to see a new vessel in port shipmates until next time <laughs>